think it from here. Come on in. I bet you're here to take a look at the lab. It's been a while, right? Well, we've been here for a few weeks getting things ready for you. And I'd love to show you around. Things that maybe you haven't seen in a while. Things have changed. They always do here. We're always working on something new. In fact, I have a friend over here, Katie, who's working on a pretty cool piece. Katie, is that a rib? Oh, it sure is. Oh, fantastic. Tell me about what kind of tools you're using on that piece today. Well, right now, I'm using an X-Acto knife. Very and nice. Those tend to be pretty sharp when you first put them on, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We have to be very careful with these. Gotcha. And what does the X-Acto knife do? It helps to remove all the rock that's stuck on the outside of our fossil here. Wonderful. That piece is looking wonderful. Great job. Thank you. That'll be a beautiful piece on display soon. Mm -hmm. Great job. And that is actually only one of almost hundreds of bones that we've actually dug up from our site in Wyoming, the Mission Jurassic Project. That's what we're doing here. That's what we want. And our lab windows, they will be open very soon because then we get to chat with you guys about not only what we are excited to be working on, but what we finished while we were away. We are so excited. Why don't we go ahead and continue our trip right down here to the other side. A little bit more noisy over here. We got some pretty cool stuff, just as cool as we had over on the other side, but a lot more of it. And the reason we have a lot more of it is these guys were huge. We have some dinosaurs that are so big that they're double the size of what we're used to working on. Something like this vertebra, in fact. This one's almost done. This one, it goes on, it looks like. Wow, oh, that is almost done. What a fabulous job. That's definitely probably another one of our Diplodocus bones. Fancy that. Come on over here. You can actually see a jacket. It's not quite completely taken out of all the bones are still in there. The reason that is, is because the rock around those bones are actually keeping it safe. That's how we take it out of the ground. That big field jacket, these guys can weigh over, well, sometimes 1,500, 2,000 pounds. That's why we have a big white field jacket, we have all our bones inside, and we slowly take out each piece at a time. Then we can glue them back together. Keeps them safe, and it keeps them in one piece. Hey, look at that. Katie's back over here. She must have needed another tool. Mm -hmm. What kind of tool is this, Katie? This is an air scribe. Ah, yes. what kind of, now that's a little bit more noisy of a tool. It sure is. Do you want to hear how noisy it is? Would love to. Okay, let's see. That's kind of a neat noise. It's you know, that actually loud. kind of reminds me of a jackhammer. If you've ever been out in the street and they've been doing some road construction, they have those huge jackhammers. That actually reminds me of one of those guys there. It does about the same thing. That little guy, when it vibrates, it actually takes off the rock from the fossil surface. You have to be careful though, because that actually can go through the fossil. So you have to be extremely careful and pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. Wow, that's looking great. Another little tailbone. Mm -hmm. They got a long tail for Diplodocus, and we have a lot of tailbones. Well done. Looks good, Katie. Yeah. Great job. Ah. These guys. These tables are awesome. The reason we need such a big table, and this is actually a hydraulic table, is because these field jackets, just like the one we saw over there, these field jackets are so heavy, our old tables can break under the weight of the field jackets. Now again, that's rock, that's fossil, everything, the glue that we put on to keep it together. Our job is to safely get it out there, and these tables help us do that. We can bring it up if we need to. We can put it all the way down to actually load the jackets onto the table safely. And as he's doing, he's actually getting ready to do some sawing of the jacket. What he just extended here is a vent or a tube that actually, once we turn it on, it is a fan and it sucks in all the plaster of Paris and the dirt that the saw is going to actually create. That saves our lungs and it also kind of clears the air up a little bit. We don't want you guys getting dirty, and we definitely don't want to get as dirty as, well, we can. We get pretty dirty though. So those fans are extremely important, and each table and desk has their own to make sure that we're staying as safe as possible. Let's take a look over here. Thanks, William. 
Like I said earlier, every time we go out, we get sometimes hundreds of bones, and those bones get assigned to each one of our paleontologists, including myself. We clean the bones, we figure out what they were, and that way, we can put them out on display for you friends to see. We can't wait either, they're looking awesome. Here's another piece, actually. The field jacket is down here. Laura has the rock removed around it and exposed the entire fossil inside. Looks like she's taken some pieces off to clean each one, and then she's gonna glue each piece back together. See all those cracks? That bone's gonna be a beautiful fossil when it's done. It's big, but not the biggest. This is looking great. These things definitely don't happen overnight, and that's why we need all these tools. We need all of our paleontologists to help out, and we also need visitors like you. And we are so excited to have you friends back. We can't wait to see you, and we can't wait to share the wonderful things that we've dug up recently. See you soon, friends. Thanks for stopping by.